Yeah, I'm Sir Sinjab, cardiologist uh, from the Rest Medical Center, Rotterdam, the Netherlands. So we have done five cases so far, and there were immediately I noticed a few improvements uh, compared to the other system. Uh, the biggest advantage for me was that the balloon uh, stayed the same size when doing the ablation. And uh, that usually we see when the balloon is inflated, when you start ablation, the balloon will get increased the size with the older system, of the other system. In this case, the size of the balloon will stay the same, and that makes um, it more confident that you get a good occlusion of the vessel, and it will stay at the same time while performing the cryoablation. It's also translated in deeper uh, balloon temperatures. The NADI temperature is lower, I think, I think around 5 degrees lower than average uh, compared to the other system. And we could reach TTI within 60 seconds in almost all veins so far. Another advantage of the system is that you are fully in control of the ablation procedure yourself. There's now a dedicated foot pedal which you can start and stop the cryoablation, also inflate and deflate the balloon. And finally, I would say that the slimmer profile of the, the catheter is also nice, especially for crossing the, the septum of the interatrial uh, part. Uh, so the, all these small changes makes the procedure a lit, little bit easier, and also uh, durable lesions can be achieved uh, quite easily. The learning curve is not so big. If you already have some experience with uh, the other system, then the learning curve, I would say that you only have to get adjusted to the null the novel console system, uh, it's a little bit different setup, a little bit more fancier, you get more details, uh, so it takes a few cases to know uh, and understand the system uh, fully. Yeah, so there are a few things. Uh, first of all, it's a really modern console, uh, it has a smaller footprint, so it takes up less space in your cat lab. And the console has been fully uh, de uh, de newly designed and it has a lot of features, a lot of safety alerts. So when, for example, the, the diaphragmic mo movement is becoming less, you will be alerted as a physician. Also, if the temperature in the esophagus is becoming below a certain cutoff value, you will be notified as a physician. But there's also some quality parameters, like things we are, find important as a physician, like time to minus 30, uh, TTI time and also the towing time are displayed on the console. So you don't have to write it up on a piece of paper, but it's directly uh, highlighted in the, uh, on the console. And uh, those are, I think, the nice features of the system. So the, the sheet has a, a little bit slimmer design profile. And that means that the step up from the dilator to the sheet is, is lower. And that means that uh, access in the groin and also when going through the septum is uh, a lot easier. Um, I would say that's, that's a, a minor improvement, I would say. Um, but it helps. Every minor improvement will help the procedure. Yeah. The balloon catheter has several changes. And one of them is that uh, when you inflate the balloon, the occlusion, and you have a nice occlusion, the balloon size will stay the same. So the size of the balloon is now 28 millimeters, and when you're doing the ablation, it will stay at the same size, 28 millimeters. While with the other system, it will start with 26 millimeters, and when you do the inflation, it will become a little bit bigger due to the higher pressure in the balloon, and it will increase in size to 28. That means, say for example, that sometimes you are a little bit deeper inside the vein, it can pop out. With the newer balloon, that is uh, not, any, not the case anymore. It will stay the same position uh, during inflation and during ablation. And that makes it more easy because you don't have to reposition the balloon or give more pressure to counterbalance this popping out of the balloon. Uh, that makes it more easier. Other part of maneuvering, and it's also important to note, is that when uh, you are finished with the ablation, the balloon will stay inflated. Okay? And you, have, you can manually deflate the balloon by using the slider on the handle. And by doing this maneuver, you deflate the balloon, but you also stretch the balloon. So you make it ready for insertion into the, the, the sheet again. And that is important because sometimes uh, with the art system, it was difficult to put the balloon in a deflated position back inside the sheet. Uh, you, sometimes you have to use a little bit more power uh, of force. Uh, with this way, I've noticed in all the cases that it was very easy to slide the balloon back inside the sheet 
for targeting a new uh, pomni vein. The polar map catheter has a similar uh, radius as the other system. It's 20 millimeters. It has eight electrodes with a six millimeters into electrode distance. So that's not very different. Uh, the core wire has been isolated, so you have less interference and less noise. In all the cases we did so far, we could uh, have a TTI measured. Um, and usually the polar map uh, was positioned at the proximal part, but some cases we had the polar map a little bit deeper, and still we have good uh, signal quality and could uh, uh, measure the TTI. So in this study, we also confirmed the, um, the PV quality with a standard lasso, and I would say that the signal quality uh, was, the information you get from the signal quality was more or less the same. So. Um, it's a, real, a reliable indicator of the PV potentials, I would say. All these small changes makes the procedure a little bit easier to perform. It's good to have some background experience already with the other system, uh, so this learning curve will not be so steep. Uh, let's say for the first procedure, I didn't have any difficulties in maneuvering the new balloon at all. So the most difficult part was to understand the console and all the parameters you have to take up in, in you and uh, be part of your normal process. That, that, that was the biggest challenge for the first case. Uh, after three cases, it would become very, I get very familiar with the system. So um, you get a lot of data, which normally you just write down on a piece of paper, as, as mentioned before, but now that is ultimately recorded. So that, that is uh, a nice thing. And as last, the full control about deflating the balloon, inflating the balloon, uh, starting freezing or stop freezing, that's very nice to have in, in this uh, new system. If the colleague already has some experience with doing cryo balloon ablation, I don't think he will uh, have a big learning curve. Uh, I think he will appreciate these, these small refinements in the system. Uh, of doing the case and then we'll, he will fully appreciate it. If you're a new user, yeah, you cannot compare it, of course, with the, old, uh, the other system, but um, I think learning, cry, doing a cry balloon uh, procedure is really straightforward. I think uh, uh, you don't need a lot of cases to really understand how it works. Uh, of course, there are some few uh, technical maneuvers you have to acquire, but uh, that uh, also holds true for the other system as well. Uh, so would I recommend it? Uh, so far, with the limited experience that I have, uh, it has been a good experience, I would say.